just checked with the diploma list. Good morning. It's Friday, February 1st. I'm Sarah Reed, and you're watching the JHS Report. And a compatibility test is available. Good morning. I'm Jordan DeLewis. The JHS yearbook staff is hard at work gathering info, taking pictures, and working on page layouts. JHS reporter Alexis Smith has more. Every fall, students patiently await the arrival of the yearbooks, but many don't know exactly what all it takes to produce a yearbook. I'm here today to find out. What are some problems you face this year? Uh, well, one of the problems is, is uh, one of our USB ports, we only have two, is broken on the photo computer, so we can't plug in any hard drives or thumb drives into the computer to get pictures off of them, and our CD drive is broken, so it's hard to get pictures off and onto the computer. We switched to a new program called InDesign. How often or how many hours a week do you work on the yearbook? Um, well, I'm photo editor, so I usually end up taking pictures about five to six hours a week. And during school, I probably work on the yearbook about an hour a day. I'm not sure about how many hours, but I go to all the games I can go to, basketball games, swim meets, gymnastic meets. And what's the hardest part of putting a book together? Um, I guess just um, keeping it all together, um, getting all the pictures and getting all the interviews, and um, just knowing how to do everything right, I guess. Well, we have a lot of people that argue, and just people who try to make a joke out of the class, and it's for real not a joke, like it, we really take it seriously. So now you know what it takes to make a yearbook. For the WJHS Report, I'm Alexa Smith. Attention all seniors, the diploma list is posted in the front office. Please stop by the front office to check the list and make sure your name is spelled correctly. The name listed is the name that will be printed on your diploma, so it is very important that you check your name. The diploma list will be posted until February 4th. Also, if you have not ordered your cap and gown, please do that as soon as possible. Late order forms are in the front office. Valentine's Day is coming, and if you are one of the 2,000 students who do not have a valentine, take a compatibility test during lunch in the Commons and find your valentine. January 30th through February 6th, see a French club representative for details. And just a reminder, JHS Yarn Crafters will meet each Monday right after school in the Media Center. Beginners are welcome and yarn tools are available. See Mrs. Meyer at 413 if you have any questions. Rose Holman Homework Hotline is available to 6th through 12th graders for free math and science help. Call toll-free 1-877-ASK-ROSE or visit www.askrose.org. The hotline is available from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Sunday through Thursday. Block 5 continues after school with credit recovery Monday through Thursday in the math lab with Mr. Stewart and SAT prep Tuesday and Thursday in the science lab with Doug Wacker. The WJHS report is happy to air your school announcement. There are two ways to do it. You may fill out the form located in the front office or have a staff member email the announcement to Mr. Gross. Please submit those announcements at least three days in advance if possible. We will have your JHS weather forecast, plus your latest Jeff High Sports, after the break. Come and listen to my story about a man named Chad. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food, and up through the ground come a bubbling crude. Oil, that is, black gold, Texas tea. Well, the first thing you know, old Jeb's a millionaire. The kinfolk said, Jeb, move away from there. Said, California is the place you ought to be. So they loaded up the truck and they moved to Beverly Hills, that is, swimming pools, movie stars. A Beverly Hillbilly. with a look at today's JHS weather forecast. Today, rain showers early, then a few snow showers by the afternoon, high 39. Tonight, mostly cloudy, low 28. Tomorrow, a few passing clouds, otherwise generally sunny, high 47. That's a look at your JHS weather forecast. Now here's a look at JHS sports. Good morning, I'm Leslie Lawson with today's JHS sports. Based on the cancellation of activities last night, the following events have been rescheduled. Tonight, girls basketball versus Providence, 6 o'clock p.m., it's senior night. Girls swimming sectional preliminaries at Highland Hills Middle School tonight at 6 o'clock p.m. Tomorrow, boys basketball versus St. X, 
scholar athlete presentation at halftime of the varsity game. Boys and girls track conditioning will be after school from 3 to 5 p.m. through Friday. All interested athletes not currently involved in a winter sport should plan to attend. If you have any questions, please see Coach Pixler in the gym. And that's all for Jeff Sports. Soldier Boy Talk. Yeah. Right now it's going down. Yeah. Looking for the Soldier Girl. Oh, hey. yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Damn. Watch me do. Damn. Watch me do. Yeah. Gotta step like this to be a soldier girl. You gotta step like that to be a soldier Happy birthday to you This is your day On this day for you We're gonna love you in every way This is your day Finally today, the JHS re Report is offering you a chance to tell your friends happy birthday. Just bring six pictures and $5 to room 713 and we'll get your greeting on the air. Please bring your greeting at least two days in advance. And remember, if you have any pictures at WJHS, please stop by and pick them up as soon as possible. And thank you. Now you're up to date with the latest Jeff High News. I'm Jordan Lewis. And I'm Sarah Reed. Have a great day and thank you for doing your part to make Jeff High School a better school. And thank you for watching the JHS Report.